Hi, friends. Um, today, I want to talk about blind spots. What is a mental blind spot? It turns out that we're really bad at assessing whether we don't know something. Um, so if you've ever seen the, or, or if you know about the, the visual blind spot that we have in our retina, so at the back of our eye, there's a, a little spot where there's no um, optical fibers because the, the nerve goes back through into our brain to carry all the other signals. So there's no, sorry, there's no um, receptors there, it's light receptors. And so there's actually a point in your vision where you can't see anything. But normally, you don't notice it. And that's because your brain is very good at filling in that gap so that it looks like your, 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 your entire visual field is filled. But it's very simple to prove that that's not the case. You can move an object um, into, that, into that field where that blind spot is, and it'll just disappear. Um, but most of the time, you don't see it because your brain is very good at um, filling in the, the blanks. And that's true with almost anything. So um, you can have a feeling of knowing something without actually knowing it. And that is quite dangerous. And that is what I call a mental blind spot. So, um, for example, you can feel like you know exactly um, what um, something means, but you can't, somehow you just can't think of the exact explanation. And I would posit that actually you don't know what it means. You just think you know what it means. You feel like you know what it means, but that knowledge isn't actually there present. Well, sometimes it may be the case that um, that knowledge is hidden somewhere in your mind. And it's there, but you just don't have access to it. I think it's more likely that actually you don't have that knowledge at all. And um, that's also the case with a lot of times we feel like, you know, I, I really, I know what, um, how, you know, how uh, communication works, but I just can't communicate. Like people just don't seem to understand me. Well, it, I think that's a case of um, not actually having the, the activity and the behavior in place for effective communication. And, and that's how I used to feel a lot. I used to feel like, um, you know, I have ideas in my head that I can't communicate them. But I think in retrospect, while I may have had some, some fringes of ideas, the corners of ideas, the ideas weren't well formed, and that's why I couldn't communicate them. It wasn't just that I couldn't express what I was thinking, it's that my thinking itself wasn't clear. And, and then of course, it's impossible to communicate it. So um, I've also had the experience where um, I've had a really big blind spot, um, and you know this is where I had uh, I was fired from the, the role of president in ISAC. Was there was a blind spot I had, which is I didn't know that I was lacking emotional intelligence. People used to tell me that I was very um, self-aware, and so I got this kind of blind spot where I thought I knew what my strengths and weaknesses are, and uh, I wasn't considering any new ones, and I didn't consider that emotional intelligence as a weakness until it was um, painfully pointed out to me. Um, and, and that's a danger that we always uh, get into because we, we start to think that we know more than we actually know. So uh, many um, successful people have this kind of very deep humility about their knowledge. They feel like their knowledge could be wrong and they're always willing to learn more. The famous example that I love is um, Sam Bolton, um, founder of Walmart. He always thought that he was... Um, lacking some knowledge that he could learn from other people. So the, I think some, some, it was a Brazilian businessman or Japanese businessman, they were, had some supermarkets in Brazil and they invited him and they asked him to, to help them out. And they didn't really expect him to say yes, but um, he did. And he didn't just come and help them out, but he actually studied exactly what they did. And they were much less successful than he was, but he believed that he could learn from anybody. Um, and that's something that I think it's important to keep in mind, that deep humility, um, uh, I, uh, last year, I, I talked about this as well on Facebook, and I called it um, that I'm, I said that, that I'm an uncertaintist. I believe that um, our own understanding, our own knowledge um, is uncertain, so we should have this position of uncertainty. Uh, we don't know whether what we know is true or not, or whether we know um, anything at all. <laughs> um, well, it's a bit philosophical, but the practice is just... Um, being a little bit humble and questioning yourself. Why do I know this? And what makes me think that it's true? And is it still true? That's the thought for today. I'm curious, have you had an experience where you've had a blind spot, a mental blind spot that's been kind of, that you've, you've had to be shaken to, to fall out of it? Uh, let me know your thoughts. And that's it. I'll see you tomorrow.